So this is Garden Ford. At this time, he is 10 years old. And um, this is what normal 10 year olds look like. They just run and then they jump and they land in the sand. So the things that I fixed first was his overall patience and cadence on the runway. The biggest thing when it comes to younger athletes is, yes, at younger younger ages, they need to just run and jump, and then they're going to get good. But after a while, they're going to have to reset and really start to focus on their cadence and their step positions. Um, if you don't make these adjustments right at this age, what will happen is they'll get used to jumping far without a rhythm or a cadence. Then they'll just want to always just jump Um and then that creates bigger problems when they get to the high school level. So the flaws that I see here are obviously his posture is uh, off. He's running downhill. He's not consistent on his approach. And then at the board, he reaches toe and then jump from his toe. And obviously at the peak of his jump, he's already looking to land. And this was his landing. That's how he would land each time. So here are the things that we did um, to help improve his overall focus. And those things are... Um, dribble runs and also the gallops so those two things dribble runs helps his posture the gallops is what helped his pop and being flat-footed at the takeoff the landing piece came a little bit later on those two drills are going to be listed in the description so now here is his uh, progression this was uh, mid-season he is obviously still leaning forward but the difference here is once he gets to the board, he's attacking really well, keeps his speed attacking, and then he has a great pop. Um, and at this pop, he still keeps his posture upright. And then he's actually leaning back, which is better to allow him to get more distance, and he's landing on his butt now. So we got that part done within those few months. And this was by the end of season. So he has great speed coming down the runway, great posture. And at the board... He hits and makes contact. The drive knee comes up. Posture is still there. Gets to his hitch. Who does a hitch kick at 10, 11, 12 years old? And he can't finish it, obviously. But gets to the, the motion of his positions and is able to land from there. So his body lands here, which is about probably two feet further. So he's looking like he's going to be really jumping far really soon. But this progression was in the same, uh, the same year. And... It's possible for everybody. So the hitch kick drill I'll also put in there. The hitch kick is not needed for a long jump. However, it's a great way to keep the athletes distracted while they're in the air to allow them to also be in better positions when they are extending to land. So that is the uh, flaw to fix. Till next time. And good job, Pops. His name is Pops. I call him Pops because he's a grown man in a kid body. <laughs> Till next time.